So when the unit's delivered, the first thing we need to do is to take off the cover here and also the cover here using two Allen screws which are down the bottom and um, you can see them just here um, which is a 4mm Allen key um, and then the brackets connect onto here and the wooden slats are used for lifting the unit in place. So once that's done, actually this casing here, which is the compressor cupboard, um, the lid can be put back on because we're not going to do any work in there. All of our connections are around this side. You can see here, it comes with a washing machine hose. So this is going to be our drain, as it goes up into the unit here. So this would normally be drilled through into this section this is where the tubes are designed to come through so our flow and returns cables and everything normally come through if you don't want to go through the bottom um, what you do is you come through this panel here um, which if we look around the side is a cutaway and this is actually designed to put the isolator in so you can see here that we have our y strainer um, which is our connection for our flow in so you can see one inch bsp female um, and it has a little shut off valve here so that we can clean it um, and the um, return to the house is here on the pump again one inch BSP female uh, which would go uh, out to the house it's a good idea to also put a shut off valve in um, on the pump here so that we can actually clean this Y strainer without draining the whole system so the Sparky is going to connect his power into here, live neutral and earth. There's a couple of screws to undo and you use the three core cable here. And what we use is 0.3 millimeter um, screened cable, which is flex. You cannot use rigid cables, so Cat5 is no good, but you can get multi-stranded flex for this. So off you go from here to the indoor unit. The really key thing is that this is not a drip tray. This is bone dry inside the unit. So the drain has to come out through the bottom somewhere and we don't want water collecting inside the unit because once it's running, this is actually a slightly warm space. Um, so um, we don't want the actual water in there. Uh, a lot of people, when they're doing the side entry, just bring the drain out through here and the water trickles out through this hole here. So that's it. In the install manual, it talks about the size of the piping and um, the flow is everything on a red. So um, we want to try and use the biggest pipe that we can um, when we're installing it. You will see a little sticker here that says attention. Um, so when you look up inside here, it's already been removed on this unit, but there is a bracket that would connect on here. You can see the compressor and it comes across and up into the roof. It's a piece of metal. It has to be removed. If you don't remove it, it makes the unit really, really noisy. Um, so that's all good. So once all of those connections are made, we'll be able to start the unit up um, and commission. So this is the controller, it comes in the bottom of the outdoor unit, so when you take the lids off this is inside, and when you open the bag inside is the red install manual as well. This tends to be mounted somewhere where the homeowner can get to it, because this is where you can see what's going on with the unit. So this is the red manifold, you can see that this one has five pumps on it. Um, the maximum is six and the minimum is three so you can see a couple of things so this bit here is a low loss header um, and this is our control panel so underneath here if you undo the four screws to the bottom to the top you have your PCB for control of the pumps